Marcus, cooking with Marcus, cooking with Marcus, yeah. Cooking with Marcus, cooking with Marcus, cooking with Marcus, yeah. just the classic Marcus stir fry. This is something I make quite often. It's great to last a couple of days, a week. Um, you can just keep it in the fridge and put some rice on and just reheat it and go. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it and let's get started. Okay, so this is everything we're going to need for the Marcus stir fry. Uh, we have sauces here. There's not really any spices or anything I put in this. I just literally use these. I don't really use too much soy sauce, but I do put some of that in as well. Um, there's the sweet Thai chili sauce and the sesame oil, which is one of the keys to making it just brilliant. Got a couple onions. They're smaller, so I'm using those. Um, garlic, I'll use probably uh, two, three cloves of that. That'll be the way that we start classic most of the things that I'm cooking. Just uh, garlic and onion, way to go. I uh, got some corn pieces here. We got pepper, um, probably used all of that. Um, maybe half of this lime here. Um, these little satsumas or easy peelers or um, little oranges, whatever you call them. These guys, they're gonna go in. These provide some of the citrus, some of the uh, some of the sweet, sweeter tones. Um, this is your broccoli. It's gigantic, I probably won't use all that. Spinach in the back there. Peanut butter, which is another key, which is beautiful. Um, I like this one particularly. And rice. I'm going to go with brown rice. You can use white rice or brown rice. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that you need. And let's get started. So to get fully started here, we're going to turn on our fire in the pan. I'm going to pop our sesame oil. And we're just going to heat this up on really low. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Two, two teaspoons, a tablespoon of sesame oil. I'm gonna put it on low heat, and then we're gonna chop the garlic and the onion. So as I was saying before, classic start with some garlics and some onion. Because you can't go wrong with either of these things. So we got garlic. I'm just gonna take these off. Okay, those are done. And the just put the shells into the compost bin. We're going to be coming up to garden season again soon as well, which should be cool. Looking forward to the veg in the garden. So now we're just adding the garlic into our sesame oil. Done. Okay, onions, we're doing two. This one as well. Okay, then chopping them after we get this after we get the outside layers off. Chop them in half, and then we're gonna do bigger chunks. It's kind of like what I would do for the fajitas. Okay, once the onions are done, all set there. Now pop them into the pan. Put these guys in with it. A little swirl. We can turn the heat up a little bit, so we're kind of medium heat. We'll let this go in the oil for a bit. So I'm not leaving these. Gonna leave these guys on too long. The I uh, just covered them up. I'm gonna let them go on medium heat for a little bit here, almost a little less than medium heat. And I'm just gonna pop the rice on because I'm using brown rice, which takes tends to take a fair. I'm going to use a half cup of brown rice, because this is just for me, um, and just for this serving. I'm going to pop that in there. A whole cup of water in there with the rice. Okay, so while we're waiting for the water to boil, um, the garlic and the onions are starting to get a little brown and a little, a little nice. They're all browned. So, what I'm going to do is turn that back down to the lowest heat, put this back on top. We'll come back to that in a second. Now we're going to add our water for the rice. So, so is 
double of whatever you rice put in. So I put half a cup, so I'm going to do two halves or a whole cup of water. Once it starts boiling, we turn it back down, we pop a lid on it, and we carry on with everything else. And I'm going to turn it down to minimum heat, put the lid on, and we'll come back to that in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. And back up to our chopping, we're doing pepper, broccoli, and spinach now. Okay. Okay, so peppers, just gonna chop them into peppers, I'm just gonna chop them into little slices and then chop them into smaller slices. Peppers done, pop them into the pan. And broccoli now. I'm gonna use about that much. I'll leave that for something else. Later, for some other dish, I made some broccoli and pineapple and garlic butter thing the other day because I had pineapple and I had some other broccoli to use up. So that turned out pretty good actually. And then we add our corn pieces and I'm going to use a whole bag this time in hopes that it will last longer and I'll be able to eat this for a couple of days. Um, so I'm gonna cover that back up, let it do its thing. Next we're on to the spinach. Normally I get this stuff from uh, the local shop, but uh, this is some organic stuff from Little in a bag. But usually I try to avoid the plastics and just get it from uh, the shops where it just comes just like this and they're not in anything. Um, so just make sure you wash this off well. Add the spinach now. You see the pan is getting quite full, so I'm just going to let everything uh, settle down a little bit. If you have a stir fry or if you have a wok um, for stir fries, then that's uh, that's the best way to go. But this is a pretty deep pan, and it'll be enough um, for what I'm looking for. So I'll just put this back over top. That's going to help get everything down. Okay, so the rice fluffing this bad boy again. Give it a little stir, it's getting there. Put the lid back on. Turn this up to medium heat as well. The veggies here, and just letting them good and simmer. I'm gonna add some of my sauces. I'm gonna pop in the sweet Thai chili sauce. I'm gonna add the lime, so I've just chopped it in half. I'm gonna use a fork, I'm gonna stab it in the right here, and then I'm going to squeeze it. That's your lime. Apple lime. Put all lime in if you want. Again, you can add, add whatever you like, take away. I also forgot to mention that I usually put carrot shreddings into this as well, which I'll do at the end, but I didn't add it in the uh, intro there. I forgot about it. I'm going to pop the lid back on, keeping it on medium heat, and let those flavors kind of soak in there. Okay, that stuff's been going for a bit. Now I'm just gonna chop this carrot in half and cut this into little half coins kind of thing. And then we add these. So now we're cooking very well. Everything's rocking along. It's all cooking down enough that I can toss it again in the pan and give it a stir if I need to. There we go. Yeah, pop in just a little bit of soy sauce. There we go. Just to give it some more liquid to work in. I like there to be. I like to add bean sprouts to this usually as well. If I can get bean sprouts, they're not something easy to to get a hold of. Um, but if I do, then I usually like to put an entire bunch in there, and uh, it just creates lots of liquid, lots of juice, um, and then you end up with a bit of a sauce as well as just the stir fry. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add the peanut butter. So I'll use a knife, scoop it out, and I'll probably do four, five, 
big mouthfuls just to give it lots of peanut buttery goodness. Just kind of stir it around in there a bit, make sure you get it kind of everywhere. Give it a toss. And then I'll put my lid back on and letting it simmer longer. The last thing we got here are our satsumas or our easy peeler little oranges. Just gonna do one, maybe two of these. I'm gonna use two because this one's a quite a bit bigger batch than, uh, than I'll always do. So you peel them like normal and then you can just break them off into their little quadrants. And it's not as liquidy as I'd like so I'm gonna add some water. Some of those flavors to turn into a bit of a sauce, so when I put it on the rice, it's going to be nice and tasty. Cover this up. Leave it for a little bit more, we're going to let it just keep simmering. I'm going to clean up, I like to clean as I go, so it's quite tidy already. But I'm going to just finish the clean up, and then we'll put it together, and we'll eat. Okay, we're done, so we'll turn the heat off here, got our rice over here. Still nice and piping. We've got our stir fry. Take some rice. Maybe all of it, but maybe just some of it for now. Just cover our cat around. There we go. And then we're going to take our stir fry mix. And we're going to add probably two, one or two spoonfuls of this. There we go. The rice and the stir fry mix covered up. They're not on heat anymore. Everything's off. But just to keep them warm. In case there you go. Marcus stir fry. Nice and hot. So that's it. So you can add soy sauce. You can add anything else you want to it um, to make it spicier. Should be enough in there with everything you got so far. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did make it, what you did, what you did differently, um, how you liked it, and uh, we'll see you next time.